that was a good one. I feel great. Hello, lions, eagle six, and badgers. How are you, wisdom beauties, doing today? I'm Rebecca Felgate, your friendly neighborhood Slytherin, and today we are talking. Hufflepuff. So you guys seem to love my YouTubers in Slytherin video, so I thought I would give you my second favorite house. That's right, it's Hufflepuff. And I have to say, I've got some goodies for you. Okay, before I get properly into this video, why don't you guys let me know your favorite Harry Potter YouTuber or YouTuber that you know is in some kind of Hogwarts house, and also let me know your Hogwarts house allegiance. Tell me your favorite houses in descending order, so your least favorite to your most favorite. Do it. Okay. Hufflepuffs. So we talked about how the Super Karen brothers were like the Weasleys of Slytherin House. Well, vlog brothers John Green and Hank Green are like the Weasleys or the Super Karens of Hufflepuff. Yay! Hufflepuff brothers! Brothers that puff together stay together. Now these two creatives have worked together for years, getting the best out of each other and building their empire. The pair have a network of 15 YouTube channels, including their flagship, the Vlog Brothers. This pair also created VidCon, which, I mean, amazing. You guys may also know John Green from his work as an author. He wrote The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns, and Turtles All the Way Down. Hank Green is also trying his hand at writing too, and if some of the beautiful words that he's written for his YouTube channel are anything to go by, like the Brock Tree parable, and his debut novel will be great. Now, a lot of people think that because the Vlogbrothers are artsy and into literature, that they must be Ravenclaws. But no, no, they are proud badgers. This be a badger? Will this be a badger? I don't know. Need to work on it. Next up, we have Phil of Dan and Phil. He is a Hufflepuff. So Dan and Phil did a double sorting video on their channel, Dan and Phil Games. This gained the pair over 1.4 million views. Now, in the video, Phil was sorted into his rightful house, Hufflepuff. Now that turned out pretty well for the YouTuber who has 4.2 million views on his own personal channel, as well as 3.1 million on the Dan and Phil channel. Basically, it was good for him because he already identified as a Hufflepuff. He was wearing a Hufflepuff scarf throughout the video and yelped in glee when he was sorted. Glee. Okay, you may know this next one. We've got Danny Burke of Most Amazing Top 10 and his own channel. He's a Hufflepuff king. That's right, my Most Amazing Top 10 co-host, Mr. Lurkington Burkington is a Hufflepuff. We've established this as a thing. So for those of you that haven't watched Most Amazing Top 10, like where have you been? We have 3.5 million subscribers and the channel is hosted by me, a Slytherin, Danny, a Hufflepuff, and Landon, who thinks that Voldemort is Harry Potter's brother. Go figure. I was there when Danny sorted himself and found out his Patron as well, which is a basset hound. He was pretty excited. He was also there when I found out that I was a Slytherin, and it was all like a whole office-wide thing. These days he helps me out with my own channel, which is really nice. He also has his very own channel where he talks about great videos from around the internet. Classic Hufflepuff, just sharing the love. Next up, we have Tom Sanders. Now, Tom Sanders has 2.4 million subscribers and is a certified Hufflepuff. Although, like the rest of us Potter fans, he loves all areas of the fandom. He made a video called Fitting in Hogwarts Houses, in which he talked about all aspects of people's personalities and houses. He also role-played all of the different houses. He said in the video that actually, whilst he does see little aspects of each house in him, he is 100% a Hufflepuff. Now, this video gained him over 2 million views. A huge YouTube YouTuber next, we have Zoella. Whilst the Brighton based YouTuber has kept seemingly tight lipped about her official Pottermore sorting, Zoella did play a Hufflepuff student as an extra in the first two Harry Potter movies. She revealed all of the finer details in a QA on her blog in 2009. Okay, get ready because we've got a Hufflepuff power couple here. We've got Jenna Marbles and Julian Solomita. They're a YouTube power couple of dreams and now a Hufflepuff power couple of dreams. Now, the big news came out in February 2017 when the pair posted a podcast of their Pottermore sorting. They posted this on their Jenna and Julian channel, which I love because I love watching them interact together. It's really, really cute. They take the quiz side by side, and they both found out their house at exactly the same time. Now, they gave each other a big high five. Julian says that he always knew that he was a Hufflepuff, and Jenna says that she's just pleased that they're in a house together. Sweet! Okay, there is word on the street that two more huge YouTubers could be Hufflepuffs. Now, this is all according to a tweet by Adam J. Manley, who wrote in 2013, overheard at VidCon, Grace Helbig and Hannah Hart discussing their Hufflepuff house. <gasps> like, I need it confirmed in an official video, but I don't know, makes sense to me. Also, there was almost another influential YouTube Hufflepuff in the Badger Den. Now, this was in the form of Ingrid Nilsson. 
but it wasn't quite to be. In 2015, she tweeted, My Hufflepuff side comes out in full force on planes. Gotta pee, hold it for hours until I'm about to die so I don't disturb my seatmate. Does anyone else do that? I think I do do that for a while, but then after getting like really, really filled with pee, I'm like filled with an indignant rage that's like, This is stupid, Rebecca. If you need to pee, just pee and stand up and pee. And the person next to you should not get in the way of that. And maybe that's why I'm a Slytherin. But I do then awkwardly shuffle by and I'm really polite to them. Good! Next up, we have. Have Seamus Gorman. Now he has nearing 250,000 subscribers and is known for his Pixar commentary videos and Harry Potter content. He recently collaborated with huge Slytherin YouTubers, the Super Carlin Brothers, although he himself is a Hufflepuff and is very proud of it. It seems like he's often repping badger colours too, and good on him. He's also friends with our final Hufflepuff YouTuber of the day, we have Vergard. Vergard has 73,000 subscribers and used to be known as Wise Hufflepuff before he rebranded his channel. While he did retake the Pottermore quiz and get Ravenclaw, he's sticking with his first sorting and the house he feels the biggest affinity to. So there we have it, some absolutely huge YouTubers in Hufflepuff. Maybe YouTube makes being a Hufflepuff like even better and they can actually go out there and just shine the way the Hufflepuffs always need to. Ok, drinking game for the amount of times I say Hufflepuff in this video. Someone let me know in the comments section down below. For now I'm your friendly neighbourhood Slytherin, don't forget to let me know what house you're in and what your favourite houses are. Also, if I've missed anyone out, please do let me know because I feel like we need to know everyone's house so we can judge them accordingly. Okay, I'm off. See you guys later.